This is the famous Las Vegas Spherical, the world's largest spherical building in the word. Spend six years to build, at a cost of $2.3 billion. 250 meters width and 110 meters height. The shell comprises 11,000 tons of steel. There was a bigger dome in the world once. If it had worked, there would be nothing left of the message sphere. Today we find out how big it really is. The big events of the 1960s include Martin Luther King's affirmative action campaign, the Vietnam War, and the Apollo moon landing. These events have prompted architects to consider society. A futurist, high-tech architect, who advocates doing the most with the least. Buckminster Fuller was considered to be the second Leonardo da Vinci. American inventor, architect, mathematician, and author created amazing architectural structures. In fact, he did much more than that. Undoubtedly, Fuller's claim to fame was the geodesic dome, a spherical structure with a fully triangular. The word geodesic is made up of the root words earth and divide. The frequency of a geodesic sphere is how many times a projected polygon face is subdivided. An icosahedron has a frequency of 1 or V1 as its faces are not subdivided, and so on. Surface that provides superb strength. One of Fuller's most important and enduring contributions was connecting the worlds of science, engineering, architecture, design, and art. Through his extensive research, inventions, and structural experiments, Buckminster Fuller created the term tensegrity to describe. Snelson's work that best embodies the system is the Needle Tower, a sculpture created in 1968 and it allowed Fuller to theoretically develop the idea from tensile integrity analysis. But, and it stood for only a few minutes. Buckminster Fuller patented the geodesic dome structure. At the 1967 World's Fair in Montreal, the theme of the United States Pavilion was Creative America. In order to highlight the country's capacity for innovation and invention, Fuller conceived a transparent dome with an astonishing diameter of 78 meters and a height of 62 meters. The surface of the sphere is covered with a transparent acrylic panels. It still looks modern today. He designed each plastic sheet to resemble a pore in the skin. The temperature of the arena could be controlled, but for some reasons, the regulation didn't work. This makes him feel regret. On May 20th, 1976, Biosphere suffered severe damage in a fire. The fire destroyed the building's transparent acrylic bubble, but the hard steel truss structure remained. Before the Montreal Fair, in 1959, architect Buckminster Fuller and Thomas C. Howard proposed the dome over Manhattan. This is an ambitious and visionary project. The plan is to cover the center of Manhattan with a three kilometers diameter geodesic dome. Creating a controlled environment reduces energy consumption and protects the city from weather and even bomb radiation. Fuller calculated that only 4,000 tons of steel would be needed for the entire project and then a fleet of 16 large Sikorsky helicopters could be put in place in three months with all the parts in place at a cost of $200 million. This ambitious project, due to its radical nature and the technical and financial challenges of building such a massive structure, the project was never built. However, 
The advantages of a multifaceted dome with extensive resource efficiency are indisputable. The Sky Bridge in Singapore's Gardens by the Bay, the Sky Coffee in the Amazon Sphere, and the Eden Garden UK. What can we see? If the Manhattan Dome can be built, it should probably look like this. Fuller points to an interesting way forward. The dome will be ultimately follows us into the future space age.